Oh god, it's drunk a clock. Battle stations, foot soldiers. Amara, I suggest you say a prayer to the elephant man. And I'm not talking about the one with a knick-knack for a head. I'm talking about the one with lots of arms you pray to. I'm not a Hindu. What is a Hindu? Now, remember, people, no matter how drunk they are, they are still customers. So even if they throw up on you, piss on your feet, or call you a mannish-looking lesbian just because I was having a bad hair day, remember to smile. So, what's drunk o'clock? Pub closing time. Have you seen The Walking Dead? Well, it's like that, but with hungry drunk people. Can't be that bad. It has begun. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Could I use your toilet, please? Customer use only, you stupid old what's it. Now piss off. <laughs> OK, this has not begun, but it will. Christ on a bicycle. Here we go. Man, you steer shunts. Hold strong, everyone. Start the blinking fires! <laughs> Mary, thanks for coming down to head office. I know you've got a busy day, so we won't keep you. You're here because we've received several anonymous complaints from one of your employees about your managerial skills. Who sent them? They're anonymous. We don't know who sent them. That's what anonymous means. So that's what anonymous means. Your staff don't like you, Mary. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> well, Clive, what if I was to tell you that it was I that has been uh, sending those complaints anonymously? And that doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? Yeah, I see your point. What have they said about me? Well, they're quite inflammatory accusations, Mary. Staff harassment, turning up drunk to work, exposing yourself to male customers with nice smiles. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, it gets worse. One complaint says you've been known to be lax about your fry gene. No. Never. Pull yourself together, woman. Well. Sorry for losing my temper just then. That was not professional. Didn't mean to get so riled up. Oh, OK. Well, how about this, Mr Bagshaw? I go undercover to expose these lies about me. I have a cousin who works in the theatre. Now, she recently staged a musical version of Interstellar in Cheltenham. She even managed to make local businessman Sanjeev Nabil look a little bit like Matthew McConaughey. With her help, I can return to the restaurant and find the rat. So, sorry, you're going to dress up? Trust me, Clive. You'll see. I will return with evidence that this is all lies. You know when people talk about the birds and the bees, yeah? That's messed up, isn't it? Because birds and bees get busy on each other, that bird's going to get stung and his nuts are going to swell up like a radish, yeah? <laughs> it doesn't mean birds and bees having sex. It's like... Bees deposit pollen into flowers, which explains male fertilisation and the whole... I'm just trying to explain. You sound like Stephen Hawkins, isn't it? Hey, let's talk about Amara and how you're so gay for her and you might as well just be jerking off two guys at the same time. You're letting her ride you like a big horse, bruv. No, I'm not. Yeah? Chantal was telling me how she was screwing up all over the place last night. You can't keep covering for like that, bro. She wants Employee of the Month. I'm just trying to help her. What about you? What about me? I'm amazing. That's what's about me. I'm prime rib. I mean, you never talk about your private life. You just invade mine and laugh at it. Is your love life so amazing? Bruv, I'm looking for Mrs. Wright. Not Mrs. Wright now. Love is an open road, Joe. One that you drive down and stretches out right before you. And you've got to keep your eye open on that vast horizon. Because then, and only then, do you realise that someone's sitting right beside you in that passenger seat. Wow, that was surprising. Someone with two gold biddies and a slamming V-hole, you feel me? Uh, boys, <laughs> a team meeting downstairs. Oh, are you playing charades? Oh, great, go on, go on, do it again. I'll see you downstairs. Well, you may all be uh, wondering why I'm dressed like this. You might be sat there uh, asking yourselves, why is she dressed like this? 
Um, you might be thinking, is that the dress she bought to make herself feel better after Gareth ditched her? Yeah, did it work? Yeah, 100%, still got it, still got it. The reason I'm wearing it is because it's uh, my niece's christening, so I'll be gone for the next 48 hours. Uh, what does this mean, Commander? Who will be in charge? Oh, yeah, well, you will be um, acting manager, Derek. <sighs> you... you all heard? You all saw? I'm in charge now. And my first act in my new role as acting manager of Seriously Fried Chicken is to fire you, Mary Fawn. You have run this place into the ground with your insane management techniques. Well, I am going to miss our bant. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it'd be impossible for you to fire me. <laughs> oh, Derek, you did crack me up. No, but uh, a christening is a special occasion. It's, it's the beginning of a spiritual journey with God, so it's, it's not to be taken lightly. What did you get her? Zumba lessons. She will need them with those jeans, unfortunately. The whole family. Um, now, just before I leave, just a quick beaks up. Um, we've actually got a new employee coming today, and uh, he's called Carlos. He's from the Tottenham branch. And, um, well, I think you're going to have quite a lot of fun with him. Yeah. Quite a bit of fun. Are you ever going to pay for food? No, uh -huh. we're best mates. Why would I do that? Best mates? I don't even know your second name. <laughs> I <had> jokes, man. <laughs> like, I don't even know your second name. <laughs> Joe. I've got your back. I appreciate it, but I don't need you covering for me, Joe. I don't mind. I'm just trying to help. We fry stuff and sell it. I'm pretty sure I can manage this job on my own without too much help. I could do this on my own. Why don't you just let Joe do everything for you, dear? He's been carrying your stick insect ass from the day you started. That is completely untrue. Well, tell me how we make fries. Easy. I hand Joe the tray and then... I'll figure it out. Ah, uh, hola. Um, I'm Carlos, uh, your new employee. What? What? Uh, my name is Carlos, I'm of Barcelona. Uh, that's in the northeast of Spain, uh, where they speak Catalan. Uh, you can check on Wikipedia if you like. A national dish is, uh, is paella, is rice dish. You'll want to speak to Derek. He's our acting manager. Mucho gracias. Mucho bueno. Joe, is it weird that Mary's dressed up like a Spanish man? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely weird. Seriously fried chicken? Seriously fried chicken, yeah? All right? Yeah, you all right? No, I'm just like a fucking crocodile. I thought you was a gecko. What the fuck's a gecko? I don't know. Hey, if you don't mind me saying, you sound like you got a nice pair of titties, innit? You sound like you got a nice big dick, innit? Yeah, sure. Definitely. Hey, if we had sex, would we have, like, half chicken, half crocodile babies? Yeah, all feathery with big teeth and shit. <laughs> like my mum. Right, because <laughs> your mum's ugly, innit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what my dad left. My name's Sam. I'm Ed. You got them big old biggies. You got that big old bitch. <laughs> yes, yes, come into the manager's office. Manager here. Hola, greetings. Um, my name is Carlos. I am from Spain. Mucho bueno. Ah, oh, yes. Mary said there'd be a Spanish fella coming along today. Pleasure. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Derek Wom, acting manager. Now, where did Mary dig you up? I am from Spain. Mucho bueno. You said that, Carlos. Well, you know, Mary, she interviewed me for a position and I found her to be very interesting. But um, tell me, what do you think about this, uh, Mary? You look familiar. 
You remind me of someone. Javier Bardem, that's it. Oh, no, oh, that Diego, what's his face from the post office? The one who walks around funny. He has multiple sclerosis. I don't care how many sclerosis he's got. He's a Wally. How do you know Diego from the post office, anyway? Well, uh, he is um, from Spain, like me, so we exchange natural recipes and uh, we talk together in Spanish about uh, buffet. Sounds fair enough. Chantal, my love, show Carlos here around the kitchen. So, um, tell me about uh, working here. Tell me about this Mary. Is she nice to work with, or hard work to work with, or you know, someone you, you send complaints to head office about anonymously? What you doing, woman? Woman? I have a pair of album diggers in this pantalon for hairier than the hairs are spent. I know it's you, Mary. Oh. What gave me away? Your fierce. I see. You can't stop doing the accent. Someone's been sending complaints to head office about me, and I might get fired. Now, I need to prove that they're not true. So I, I'm going undercover. Tell me, was it you? Hell no. You're the best boss I've ever had. Thank you. I can come in late and leave when I want to, and you never dare stop me. Thank you. If anyone is complaining about you, it will be the one person that doesn't want you here. Derek. Derek? right-hand man. The cheese in my sandwich, the shoe one in my shoe, when my foot's not in it, obviously. Just one minute. OK, no problem. Hey, Mara, we have customs back to Relax, it? I've got this. You're on fire. Thanks, Joe. No, your station, it's on fire. Shit. Flames in the restaurant! <gasps> <gasps> this thing. This is mucho generoso. In some cruel parts of Spain, they would have had your head for this. Well, I like your spunk, Carlos, but these are my employees and I handle them. It was my fault. Joseph, I knew it all along. It wasn't his fault. Chantal, I knew it all along. It was Amara. Amara. I knew it all along. Right, you're on toilet duty for the next month. Number ones, twos and threes. What number threes? Oh, you know what I mean. We all get them. Don't we? I'm not cleaning toilets all day. The stuff that comes out of our customers after eating here is unholy. Oh, fair enough. Then you're fired. But Derek! Well, sorry. You're on your booner, mate. Sorry, I tried. It's not your fault. I can't even keep a job I hate and don't want. If you're fired, what will your dad do? I have to work for him in his abattoir. And it is so rank. I can't believe I have to work somewhere surrounded by dead animals. Yeah. Wouldn't want to do that. What the fuck is Ed doing? I have no idea. This place is weird. Chick, 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 the chicken, chick. God, I really do sound like Javier Bardem. I want to touch you, Mary. How's the stock check, Carlita? Rotty, Nora. I haven't seen anyone stock check like this since a young fellow with book teeth and an undescended testicle waltzed in here and said, Can I have a job, please? That young fellow was me. Would you get it? Um, no, I was uh, wondering. Tell me about your boss, Mary. You know, I have heard some terrible things. Well, what have you heard? Oh, you know, just um, through the grapefruit vine that complaints are being sent about it, all the fat cats upstairs. You know, in Spain, we have a saying, tell me everything you know about this. I wouldn't know anything about that. He winked. No, I didn't. Acknowledge aloud that you're winking at me. Well, in my culture, it's, it's rude not to acknowledge aloud when you're winking at someone. I mean, I ask you this as, 
a fellow colleague, a friend. Friends, is it? Oh, well, let's do this proper then. The frog and mouse tonight. You, me, a couple of shandy tops, all the scampy fries, and a big plate of dirt. Now, come here, friend. <laughs> what are you doing? In, in Spain, now, this is how we, we hug. We embrace and then we squat down together, mm. mucho bueno. All right, then. It was quite nice, actually. Makes a change. We do it again? Well, you've got some pectorals on you there, Carlito. Ooh. <laughs> and again. Oh, down we go again. Well, this is working wonders for my hammies. Oh. Well, no wonder your economy's in the toilet. You spend all bleeding day hogging. See. <laughs> Mate, I met a girl of my dreams. We think exactly the same way. Like, we both like chips and we've both seen Iron Man. That describes quite a lot of people. Just because you ain't never been in love. You're in love. It's like a beautiful mind. We connect and it's like... You know, I don't want to see her face in case it ruins everything by her being ugly. And like right now, she's just this big crocodile and I'm just this little chicken and it's beautiful. Right, you know, we don't have to share everything. You won't understand. You're too young. You're too innocent. Too stupid. Hey, I just came to say goodbye. Laters. You can't leave. Look, Derek doesn't have the power to fire you. We'll talk to Mary so you don't have to work in the abattoir. It doesn't matter. The work isn't even the worst thing. It's just embarrassing. Not been able to keep a job here in the weird, fat, mutant cousin of KFC. I'll see you around, Joe. How come you got so much stuff? Oh, it's not mine. Just found it lying around the place. Figured I might as well get something out of this job. Thought I'd sell it. I think those are my headphones. Uh, so now it is just the two of us here, uh, totally off the record. Uh, how would you rate your manager, Mary? And please, I speak freely. Mary, I'll give her a zero. That woman's no more a leader than you are an Englishman. She's incompetent, stupid, no wonder Gareth left her. Dead! So, perhaps you have made complaints about this, Mary, to management? Many times, Carlos. I shouldn't tell you this, but I've had a couple of shandies and I'm getting loose. I've been conducting a vicious anonymous campaign against Mary since the day she joined. What have you said? I've accused her of dancing naked in the cat's so sticking straws up her what's it and putting them back in the dispensers. <laughs> Is this true? What a word. Well, now, it would seem the chicken has come home to his rooster, huh? No, oh, no, no. I have what I want. But it hurts like a dagger in the back. Mucho bueno. Farewell. Oh. Let's have a hug. The Spanish way. Okay. Okay, let's cut the bullshit. I like you and you like me. Our minds are connected like internet Wi-Fi, buffering. Take off that hat and let's do this thing. Cause no matter what you look like, I'm into you, babe. I love your mind. Now I wanna kiss your face. <gasps> Bollocks! Where's he going? I don't know, but I wish he'd come back. Hi, Mary. Oh, hola, Joe. Uh, I'm mucho bueno. It's fine. I, I know it's you. Oh. Um, when did you realise? Was it when I knew just a little too much about how to label those chicken thighs or when I expertly put the fire out? What gave me away? Your face. You could make management, you know, one day, Joe. You see things the others don't. Everyone knows it's you. Except Derek. Oh. Uh, God, you probably think I've gone totally do lally. Feel a bit do lally. Wandering around with a moustache on my face and a courgette stuffed down my trousers. I mean, you know, I didn't think it would come to this, Joe, spying on my own staff, but 
you know, when you're under pressure, I mean, that's when you see what you're really made of. Yeah. Right, under pressure. That'd do it. Hi. Hi. Amara? Hola. Es una noche preciosa, ¿verdad? Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm not Spanish. Hey, I got her as quick as I could. What's happening? Joe calls in, there's an emergency and. Where is everyone? That's the emergency. It's nearly junk o'clock and they've all called in sick. I don't work here anymore. Oh, and I've got to go too. I have a sensitive personal problem I have to deal with. What? It's a bunion. Okay. In my arsehole. Oh. I thought it was an emeroid. Okay. It wasn't. Right. It was a bunion. Got that. In my arsehole. Still with you. Don't burn anything. We can't just leave me. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Because you can't handle it. It's fine. How bad can it be? Welcome to Seriously Fried Chicken. How may I help you? Leaving these premises unattended at drunk o'clock is shameful. I have worked here since it were a wimpy and I have never seen such unprofessionalism. Only the quick thinking of Amara Patel. It's not my surname. Saved us. Drunk o'clock, all by herself. The woman deserves a medal. We don't give them out, mind. The rest of you, you're fired. Oh, ho, ho, who's laughing now? <laughs> Me. This ends now, Derek. Carlos, your glasses. Carlos, your moustache. Oh, OK, I just got it. Harry, it were you all along, but, but why? I have you on tape. Derek, admitting that those complaints were lies and this recording's going to head office and you will be dismissed, which is fancy talk, for fired. <laughs> Mary, that's, that's what we do, we have a laugh, it's banter. Banter! What do you mean? <laughs> well, I knew it were you all along when you, when you came in. <laughs> you know. Oh, right. Oh, what, because of my face? Is that what... Gave it away, my well, face. Well, I, mean, you, I, I had some fun. <laughs> I don't think you're a bad messenger. I think you're brilliant. <laughs> OMG, I think you're fantastic. <laughs> what about the complaints? More jokes. I'm a practical joker. I'm like George Clooney. I were always going to ride to head office and say that it were a wind up and we were having a gas. I'll explain all that. Right. Yeah, I, I, I knew it. So I'm starting to, to get it now. <laughs> it's hilarious! <laughs> oh, I'm joking. Yes, you're joking. It's so funny. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd never betray me like that, Derek. <laughs> oh, you got me. Oh, dear. Oh, all right, I'll see you later, then, silly pants. <laughs> You haven't seen the last of me. Sorry, what was that? I just have him all giggle, silly. <laughs> you silly bitch. <laughs> I don't know if this is exciting or incredibly depressing. Mary called me into her office and gave me this. Oh, well done. Your dad will be pleased. It sounds stupid. 
Because I know it's only serving fried chicken to drunk people, but I'm kind of proud I got through it on my own. Bit of a coincidence that you call me in for an emergency and then the entire staff disappears. Yeah, it's weird. Very weird. Yeah, almost like someone called everyone and told them not to come in. Really weird. Really, really weird. <laughs> Thank you. What happened with the crocodile? You don't want someone's like too into you. I'm like a free bird, man. Can't tie this shit down. Don't clip my wing. I like women, all kinds of women. Big women, short women, big titties, slightly less bigger titties, even bigger titties. Women, women, women. Ain't no dick for head, no sir. So Zamara wanna have sex with you after you made her work night shift all by herself? No. Told you it's a shit idea. You know what your problem is? Not really. You're not a sexual being. She sees you like her little brother or some shit. I know. But that might not be a bad thing. In the paper last week, this brother and sister from Alabama had a baby. Baby came out all weird, but still, the sister was fine. That's not. And if I had a sister and she was hot, I would totally watch her in the shower. Do you know what I'm saying? Ed, you do have a sister. Yeah, but she's not hot. And she locks the door now anyway. Hello, I am Vladimir. Is this seriously fried chicken? Oh, God. I am new employee. I come to be part of your team and win your trust and so forth. Mary will never know what hit her. Hey, Derek. More fried same time next week. Meanwhile, actress Mandeep Dillon, who plays Amara, talks about her favourite characters to play online right now. Go to the BBC TV blog. And tomorrow, don't forget, there's more new comedy in the form of two top coffers protecting a famous star from death threats at 10.